Hello everyone! What tools do you need for basket making? In today's video I'll show you my own tool basket and I'll show you what's in there step by step and what I use them for. I will also explain what you need as a beginner to start off with. So first up, what you'd see is a whole line of clothes pegs. I use them for making raised handles. So I'll put them onto my uprights to leave a space for them to put the border down. Um, wire for tying my uprights together. I have a hammer in here for um, square work mostly. Um, my trusty secateurs, a little snips. Um, these are the Japanese side cutters. Um, you can get them from Mary Butcher in the UK. My, my small botkin, my wrapping iron. This is a box full of drill bits, my bits of willow for making skibs, little nails for um, square work. Then I have my knife. I use this knife as a blunt knife for um, kinking up my uprights. I have a whole pile of um, zip ties here that I use for making hoops, measuring tape, metal cutters, again that's for square work, my knife. Um, this is my hook knife I use for making a point on my uprights or a handle stick. It's, uh, it's quite curved, it doesn't have to be that curved, but um, I, um, I like this one quite a lot. I have my splitting tool for splitting sticks. I have an old screwdriver for pegging my basket onto my lap board. I have a fid can also be used um, to push um, willow through tiny little gaps. And this is my very first botkin is still in there. I can't get rid of it. I have a sharpening stone, some um, permanent markers, some pencils. I have this is a cream. It's mostly um, coconut oil, but there's a bit of oil, um, almond oil in there as well that I use for uh, oiling my tools, but also use for my hands in winter time because they crack easily when you're working the whole time. I have some tissues in there. I have some more wire in there and I have some um, electrical tape to stick bits together and is always very useful and that's pretty much it um, other than that there's some bits of willow in there at the very start when I was still just trying out basket making and I wasn't very serious into it yet I just started out with these basic tools I had my wooden botkin it's a very treasured piece at this stage. It's the one I, um, my husband made for me. And so I would use this to um, finish off the border, um, to add handles and all that kind of stuff. And instead of a real metal botkin, I would just use an old knife to split my willow sticks at the start. And it worked, even bigger sticks. Um, uh, I could split with the knife as well. And of course I had secateurs and some measuring tape. Um, I would suggest getting some botkins. This is a large one 
and um, I actually use my smaller one all the time and the large one is only used for really large work like um, the really big skibs or a quit. And then instead of my knife, I have a sharper knife, um, a hooked knife. As I said before, it doesn't have to be that hooked, but this is my open L knife. I use it a lot. I also have my blunt knife I use for kinking uprights. Um, before we tie it together. I use this one all the time. It just sits nicely in my hand as well. And of course, we all need the uh, secateurs. I use Felco um, number eight. It's not as chunky as the other ones are. Um, and of course, we'll need a wrapping iron to tap down the weaving. Of course, you'll always need your measuring tape. This is what I recommend as a like basic tool basket. Um, you can do loads and loads with just these tools. You don't need to invest um, or spend a lot of money. This is all you need. The one thing I haven't mentioned actually is a weight. Um, this is a diving weight that I got from a friend. I use it a lot. It's a nice curved shape to go into the basket. Um, but a weight is something that you'll be always looking out for, a nice round stone, um, something like an old iron, anything like that that is heavy and um, can sit nicely in the base of your basket it makes the world of difference when you're weaving. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing so when I post a new video, you, you will actually see it coming up. I'd also love to know what's in your tool basket. If you'd like to learn more about basket making, I have made a free course. It is called um, Basket Making for Beginners. It's an online video course and I'll leave the link below the video for you to um, sign up. I'm also very excited to let you know that I'll be opening up my um, nine month program called Becoming a Basket Maker. And I'll be opening it up soon so um, Keep an eye out in future videos. Bye for now and thanks so much for watching. Happy weaving.